Devil's Productions presents The Great Deep. Welcome to episode number 28 of The Great Deep. My name is Ryan Calder, your host for the show, and this series runs parallel to the music of The Great Deep album. So for those who don't know, we've doubled up on The Great Deep series as both podcast and vlogcast now, and it's a creative exploration of themes and ideas that dive a bit deeper into the stuff that's in the music. So let's start with this question. What are the big hurdles in your life at the moment? What is the mountain that you have to climb? Or perhaps a big task that is going to require a lot of work. Maybe you have an exam or a test ahead of you. Maybe you have a big assignment due. Maybe there's a deadline that is looming and you know it's going to require time and energy to meet it. Perhaps it's a project that requires a lot of money, which you don't have right now, and you're not sure how you're going to get the money. Perhaps you're trying to preserve your business or your job. We all face these sorts of things at some point in our life, and some are small things and some are really big and important things that we know will change our trajectory. Well, let me tell you what happened to me a few years ago. Let's get into it. I was trying to decide what direction my life was heading towards. I was employed as a teacher and I also had a few gigs that I played throughout each year. My wife and I had just purchased a property and so we had a big bond to pay off and a lot of responsibilities in terms of family and work. And at that stage, I felt like I was a bit stuck. So I took a few days to consider where I was at in my life and what opportunities lay ahead of me. And many of the things that I wanted to do were just a bit out of reach. But the one opportunity that was available, which I wasn't particularly excited about, was a postgraduate certificate in education. So in the absence of anything else, I decided I should get the qualification to accompany the years of work experience that I had acquired. Now, it's one thing to start studying again after you've been a student for a number of years, but it's completely another thing to be a parent and study. You only really know once you're in it. So I signed up for this course and I started. I would work a full day, I'd have dinner with the family, and then open up the books and try and study and complete assignments at the end of the day. And it didn't take me long to realize that this was not going to work. So I took a step back and I reassessed my diary. And there was very little time during the work day to try and fit it in. And there was very little chance of anything being absorbed into my tired brain after a long day of work and parenting. So I started to wonder whether this had been a good idea, seeing as I wasn't really interested in becoming a teacher for the rest of my life at that stage, and I didn't feel like I should be working any harder than I had been. But I had already paid the deposit for the course, and I wasn't going to get that money back. I was either in or I was out. It was at this point that I unwittingly understood the difference between a fixed mindset and a growth mindset. I've written a blog about this which I'll link to in the show notes. Uh, You can read all about it on there and or just by doing a simple internet search. The reality I was faced with was I could quit the studies and carry on with the life I felt stuck in, or I could try and make this work 
and see if it was actually possible to be a family man and study post-grad stuff and then see where it would lead. I reasoned that having a teaching qualification might open doors and it was worth the effort. And at the very least, giving it a try would mean that I didn't become like Eeyore. So I had another look at the diary and seeing as I couldn't study during the day or at the end of the day, the only option was at the beginning of the day. But it would have to be before the workday began and even before my kids woke up. Because once the family was awake, there was no studying going to happen. So I carved out an hour of study time beforehand, which meant waking up at 4.30 a.m. That lasted a week and it was about as productive as the evening. In other words, not productive at all. I found myself just yawning and not awake enough to absorb anything in a textbook. So I thought maybe I should exercise beforehand, as that might jolt my body awake and my brain would be more compassmentous. So I tried it one day, and it worked. So then I carved out an extra hour in the morning for exercise, which meant setting my alarm an hour earlier for 3.30 a.m. And I spent a year and a half getting through my studies this way. Now, I know what you're thinking. Who does that? And I'll tell you. Someone who goes to bed at 8 p.m. Someone who tried the normal way of thinking and it didn't work. And so adapted and changed and tried other things to make it work. This is what's called a growth mindset. Now I like the idea that I am not stuck as I am. No one is if they have a growth mindset. There's a lot we could talk about on this, but suffice to say that I found out that I am actually quite a good teacher and I picked up some good habits along that path of discovery. For me, I found a link between a growth mindset and having a vision. You'll hear many motivational speakers talk about the importance of having a clear vision, and for good reason. If you know where you're going, you can then work out how to get there. And there's always a number of ways, and each way allows you to grow. Making that decision to pursue and complete those studies has fundamentally changed a number of habits for me and I can say that it's made me want to grow more. Years ago, I wrote a song called Where To From Here and the outro lyrics of the song emphasize the idea that we're all on a journey that's unique to ourselves and hence the world never stops learning from one life to the next. It goes Everybody has a story to tell. Some do it plain, and some do it well. So tell me your story, my friend, and we'll carry on learning right to the end. So my encouragement to you, no matter what you're facing, is that there's an opportunity to grow. So go for it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed this. And check out other episodes, leave a comment, and join the discussion. And until next time, keep on growing your mindset and keep pondering the great deep. <laughs>